I'm not entirely sure why packing is the most stressful part of travel, at least for me, but I thought with this video I can help ease your mind, give you some ideas, some packing tips that are hopefully new and not just overused all over the internet to help make your trip to Mexico or really any tropical vacation a little bit easier to plan for. So I'm Finn and my husband Tim and I travel full time. We've been living here in Mexico all year and I am gonna be sharing with you the clothes that I have here that I'm happy that I have, that I've st strategized and like made this whole kind of wardrobe out of. In my opinion, when you're traveling full time and living out of a suitcase, there's kind of two ways to go about it. You can have specific travel clothes that are high quality from an outdoor store like REI or something that are multifunctional and very plain and generic that you can wear in multiple different weather environments. On our first trip around the world in 2015, I went that route a little bit more and had my like hiking pants and plain v-neck t-shirts and all that stuff is super functional and that we did that entire trip out of the carry-on. We're traveling a little bit differently now and more living abroad and taking side trips. We're also traveling with our sweet dog Pepper and we have two checked bags and a carry-on with us. I mean, like we travel down here to Mexico with a dog bed. So we're just, we're traveling a little bit differently. Also, now that YouTube is my full-time job, I'm also a little bit more conscientious of the clothes that I'm wearing now that I'm sharing it with the internet versus what I was before. So my style has changed a little bit and I'm, I'm happy about that because I just feel like you should dress how you want to dress. And while we were just packed for a carry-on, I wasn't like excited about the clothes that I had. It was just super plain. So instead of having a lot of expensive, high quality items, which is like how Tim likes to travel, I now more so have inexpensive seasonal clothing that I have for the duration of that trip. And because they're so inexpensive, I don't get as much wear out of them. And so at the end of that experience, trip, weather environment, I'm going through clothes a lot quicker and then I'll just donate them at the end of their life cycle, which is just so much shorter than if you have like some nice merino wool top or something. So hopefully I've chatted enough so that enough creepy men on here that just want to see me wear outfits or something are not in the picture anymore. and. Yeah, ladies, let's just get into it. As I go through my clothes, I will tell you that I'm also thinking through how this looks on camera. So if you are traveling in the same sense that you want like your pictures look cute for your Instagram or something, I just, this, I, it sounds so superficial and like I hate talking about this, but it's just a reality. And like, I know you know what I'm talking about, even if you don't like agree with it or whatever, but that's just, that's just how it is. So if we start at the beginning, let's start with some bathing suits because we're here in Mexico. And I also think that that is a great example of things that look one way on camera and different in person. In my opinion, I think white bathing suits look phenomenal in photos and phenomenal on video. I have a very pale skin. I mean, I've been in Mexico all year and this is like the darkest that I've gotten. So I'm very pale and white just, doesn't look good on me in person, but those white bathing suit photos that I'm telling you, like, look, they look amazing. So I have a white one piece that's literally four photos that I hardly would ever wear, like even around friends or something. Like I get in, we like do the photo and I'm like, get me out of this because it's a white, like it's a white bathing suit. <laughs> I can hardly wear a white t-shirt without just ruining it. I also have a high-waisted white bikini that I'll share some photos of here. This is for Forever 21. The other one was from Amazon, but I didn't say that. Show you, high-waisted. And it's a little bit pattern textured, as you can see. This gets so dirty so quickly. And whether it's discolored from just like sweat and oils on your skin to sunscreen to uh, like nature if you're swimming in a lagoon or the ocean and there's seaweed or mud i've only worn this maybe like eight times i'm starting to feel like yeah, it's kind of getting a little grungy even though i've washed it so i'm starting there with two white bathing suits a one piece and a bikini again mostly for photos because that's what I'm doing abroad. 
whether you are super photographing your trip or you're just going for a vacation to relax or you're on your honeymoon or whatever it is, one of the best things I have with me is an athletic bikini. So whether you prefer wearing one pieces or a two piece, on vacation, you're doing a little bit more than maybe like going to sit at your friend's pool in the summer. You might be paddle boarding or kayaking or learning to surf or going on a snorkeling tour, cliff jumping or something. There's so many uses of an athletic bikini. So I have these old black Victoria's Secret bottoms that are like the same ones that everybody has. And I found this at Forever 21. I'll share some pictures. I've been wearing this learning to scuba dive. And not only is it super functional with the zipper front, it's high neck, it keeps the sun off my chest. And that's usually the first place that's prone to getting sunburnt for me. And it's just very secure. And I'm not always looking down and fidgeting with my bathing suit. And I'm just trying to enjoy the activity that I'm doing. So this is not sacrificing style to be comfortable sun protected and just functional. So <laughs> I have a lot of bathing suits with me, but it's, it's Mexico, okay? So I have the two white ones for photographs. I have the one athletic one. This one also for photographs, but I just really like wearing it because it's comfortable. It's a one piece and I'm 5'11 and this one piece is actually long enough for me, which I just don't understand how it happens. I think because it has an open back that it is first told the fact that it fits me. Let's dive into this subject matter. I will tell you that I chose this color specifically because I knew that we were going to be doing a lot of cenote swimming here. And I'll show you some pictures of what a cenote is. When you are surrounded by greens and blues, if you are wearing a contrasting color that pops, it just looks really good in photos. That's again why white usually looks good or even just like a plain black. But if you're gonna go for a color, I love having this orange color because it is the opposite of a lot of those nature tones that you see. So I, in my personal opinion, when there's a lot of leaves in the photo, I think that wearing something like this looks really nice and you'll see that I have a lot of clothing options that are of a similar color. Also, what looks really great on camera, this is turning more into like a how to look good in your vacation photos, but with your outfits, if there's a shorter version of that for the title. <laughs> uh, with all of the lines and cuts on this face, it's very interesting. While that might look maybe a little complicated in person or like extra, that is what looks really nice and interesting on camera because there's just more going on. So again, a little bit better looking on camera than in real life, but because this is so comfortable, uh, this, this has been my favorite and my go-to here. My last <laughs> bikini that I have with me, I have a nice high quality bathing suit from Athleta. This is definitely on the expensive side. I forget, this is probably around $100, maybe $80 or something, um, but Base the fact that this is coming from an athletic company. The material's high quality. It's great for all of the activities that I'm doing down here. It's great just to throw on and jump in the pool with Tim to play around and stuff. So it's it's just kind of like that no-brainer, nice to have. This is an excessive amount of bathing suits for you know your week-long holiday, but because I was living down here for six months, I just have kind of this extra one with me and I'm Glad that I do, because nobody likes to put on a wet bathing suit. And I'm never just wearing those white ones around. Why don't we dive into the clothes that I have with me? I never liked looking at packing lists when I was prepping for travels and people were saying like, I have five shirts and I have four pants. Like, I don't know, I, I think it's harder to think about your wardrobe like that because shirts, pants, like I just think that like outfits, even though I was never before an outfit person, now I've turned into one because once you think of your closet that way and how you're going to be wearing your clothes, it just helps open up so many more things. So I have this great kind of capsule wardrobe that I create for each location that matches, it's cohesive, it kind of has a theme and all the pieces can go together. So you're getting multiple functionality out of few pieces, which is critical. And before I used to think that that might mean that like you have the pants that roll up into shorts or something. No, not, <laughs> not like that. It just means that you can mix and match with a lot of your items. So let's start with a simple item that you would think about to go to a warm destination. 
Do we all have a pair of these? Are we all finally over that stage where it just like goes up and over the butt? Like, can we just, are we done with that? That's just like not a flattering look on just about everybody. So I, I hope we're done with that. These are pretty high-waisted. Again, at 5'11", it's hard for me to actually get things that are truly high-waisted on me covering my belly button, but these are pretty close. Again, most of my clothes, yeah, this is from Forever also. Forever 21 is easy for me because it's in so many countries and I can get things shipped and I can return. And anyway, that's just been an easy solution. Because these are casual and high-waisted, I can do a lot of things with it and wear a lot of items. For example, I have a white crop top. It's like a sweater, but that sounds ridiculous. It's kind of sweatery. And then I have a tan one. I have lots of neutral colors that I really like. And then I also have some just scrungy tank tops. I don't know, I've had that forever. I don't even know where that's from. And a cutoff shirt. There are so many ways I can wear what I just showed you from casual coming to or from the beach over a bathing suit, out to dinner with a belt and a pair of earrings. I mean, <laughs> you really could get by with just the bathing suits and what I just showed you. Because I'm here for so long, I have a second pair of jean shorts in black that just are casual and I, I really like wearing those. You'll also find on a lot of travel vlogs, you know, not to bring or wear jeans because they're heavy, they don't dry easily. I get that, but I'm also not wearing like Nike gym shorts to go to dinner. I'm usually on the dressier side of the spectrum. That's, that's just how, where I feel comfortable. And I'm not like washing my jeans in the sink and hanging them out to dry for the next day. I've, I've been there, I've backpacked where you're washing underwear in the sink and that kind of stuff, but you can basically get your laundry done anywhere and they dry it for you. I don't know, it's just, it's not a big deal. So if you like wearing jeans anyways, I would just bring them. Of course I don't need long jeans here when it's 95 degrees. I have two dresses here with me, one long striped dress that is super versatile in the fact that I could put a belt around it, wear it with a hat, wear it with jewelry, wear it over a bathing suit as a bathing suit cover up. It's long and light and airy, so. Hi, Pepper. Well, hi. Great, what was I talking about? Um, versatile dresses. Okay, is it excessive that I have two? Yes. Is it excessive that I have this other thing too that I'll show you also, yes. But I have this, it has sleeves, which is kind of too hot here. This is not maybe recommended. The sleeves, just they're short sleeves, but it's just like sweaty. So anyways, I have this here, thought I'd show you. Okay, I also have this duster thing. This is so not a, oh, wow, that looks cute. I don't, see, like this just looks good on camera. I don't know. This is just hot and long, but this finishes an outfit because I could be wearing the jean shorts and the crop top shirt and throw this on and it's like, whoa, are you an Instagrammer? Wow. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it is kind of too hot here to wear this comfortably, but I'm usually freezing and I got this with the intention thinking that I was gonna want something covering my shoulders. So this had strategic purpose. I just don't use it for that because I haven't been cold in forever. Okay, this thing is great. I love wearing loose fitting pants. I think they're one of the most comfortable things you can wear when it's warm outside. I, I actually don't really like wearing shorts when it's very hot, when you're going out to dinner or something because you like sit on the seat. A lot of times when you're on an international trip, you are eating outside. I hate eating outside. That's just the reality of it. So many restaurants, you're just sitting outside, you're sitting there sweating. Anyways, I like being in pants because then like the back of your thighs isn't sticking to the chair. I just, I don't know. So a long skirt dress, pants, that's my go-to if I'm going to dinner so that I can sweat in these and not just like ugh, on the chair. Oh my God, I hate that. So these are high-waisted and I can put those with a lot of things, including this little top that was sold with it. Again, this is from Forever. Essentially, if something's not from Forever, I will just tell you. Now, based on how that company works, I'm sorry that so many of these things ended up coming from a place that you might not be able to get them. I don't know anything about that store, but I just feel like every time that you go on the site, it looks different. So there's probably so much circulation 
But the point of sharing all these specific things is they're generic enough that you can find a sister product somewhere. That you can see that so many of these items go together because they are simple, if they have a pattern, it's within the color scheme of everything. And when everything matches like that, I'm never at a loss for creating an outfit because I still am creating new ways of wearing the same thing that I haven't worn before. So that's a lot better than just putting on a pair of pants and a V-neck t-shirt and feeling super boring. With just a couple accessories, you can turn this outfit into so many different things. All of these colors go with both silver and gold jewelry. One black skinny belt can turn jean shorts from super casual on the beach to tucking in a shirt, throwing on a belt and calling it something fancy. Headbands worn in different ways with different hairstyles turn any outfit into, like this is a whole new vibe, I've never worn this like this, into a whole new vibe. So lots of different ways. You know, if I threw on hoop earrings with jean shorts all of a sudden like, I can go to dinner. If I throw on earrings with one of my bathing suit cover up dresses and a belt, all of a sudden ready for dinner. Also could have just been on the beat. It could still be wet from my bathing suit under it. My other favorite thing that I've been loving down here where it's really hot. And again, now we've really weeded out all the creepy men by talking so much is I just don't like wearing bras anymore. Like the, like the true one cup that like, I wouldn't do this if I was like going to work or something. But now that I'm just like hanging out in Mexico, this is so much more comfortable. These little bralette things that are the small little tops that are cotton or whatever these are made out of are so much more comfortable for me. I mean, I'm small chested, so this works for me. This might not work for you, but that works as a bra and a shirt, which is so easy. Or if I'm feeling like that's maybe not enough clothes and I can throw on like a loose fitting t-shirt over it. And then it's just like a little bralette. So again, multifunctional in a hot climate. And that works with all of these high-waisted pants and shorts because it's just a little bit too much skin if it weren't otherwise. Now, of course, I packed all that to bring down here in my trip travel gear. These are our compression cubes in which you can roll up and put all of your clothes in. If you are a longtime subscriber, I apologize for you guys seeing our products all the time, but you know, girls gotta eat. <laughs> Just to show you real quick how this works, if you're trying to squeeze all these things into your carry-on luggage, what these do is once you have clothes inside, I put four shirts in here just now, then I have the clothing in here. We have a second zipper that compresses your items. So if I go like this and zip that up and across the top, and if you own these already and you're just kind of want to know, like I always run my fingers down here in the middle so it doesn't get jammed and it just like seamlessly runs down. That's because I'm pushing that down on the inside. Shake all the clothes down, a little karate chop. And now we have this compressed bag. It helps organize your luggage and take some air out so that you have more space to bring more fun outfits on your trip. If you wanna see our vlogs from Mexico, we are scuba diving in Cozumel, living in Playa del Carmen. We go down to Tulum. This is Tulum. 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 Yeah. Tulum. Tulum. This is definitely Tulum. Not that. Bacalar, out to Isle Mujeres where we swim with whale sharks and scuba dive the underwater museum. And we visit Isle Holbosch, which is super Instagrammable at the moment, and head up to Las Coloradas at Rio Lagartos, which is where the pink lakes are in Mexico. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video, and I will see you next time where we pack for the next.